When you react phosphorus with oxygen, you get a brilliant white light and the production of a phosphorus oxide. Let's look at that in terms of a chem quiz. 31 grams of phosphorus will react with excess oxygen to form 71 grams of a phosphorus oxide. The question I have for you is what's the empirical formula of that phosphorus oxide? P2O5, PO2, or P3O4? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible argument for each of the three answers. Answer A, 40 grams of oxygen is used, 2.5 moles, and that combines with 31 grams of phosphorus, 1 mole, for a P to O ratio of 2 to 5. Possibility B, each phosphorus reacts with an oxygen molecule for a P to O ratio of 1 to 2. Or option 3, 31 grams of phosphorus combined with 40 grams of oxygen, so a 3 to 4 ratio. Think about those and make a selection. When the phosphorus and oxygen react to form the phosphorus oxide, 31 grams of phosphorus in excess oxygen produced 71 grams of the phosphorus oxide. So that difference of 40 grams must have been the oxygen. So it's 31 grams of phosphorus react with 40 grams of oxygen for a mass ratio of 3 to 4. But when we write chemical formulas, we do not use mass ratios. We use mole ratios. So let's convert those masses to moles. We'll need the relative molar masses and 31 grams of phosphorus is one mole of phosphorus. And we denote, denote that with a subscript 1. 40 grams of oxygen is 2.5 moles of oxygen. We could denote that with the subscript 2.5, but we like to have integer subscripts in our molecular formulas. So let's multiply through by 2 and use the mole ratios 2 to 5. So the empirical formula of this phosphorus oxide is P2O5. The correct answer is A, P2O5. It turns out the actual molecule is P4O10. So the molecular formula is P4O10, and that has a structure that looks like this. A very complicated molecule, P4O10, four phosphorus atoms for every 10 oxygen atoms in that molecule.